Hey guys, welcome back to Coding Stuff and in this video we're gonna learn how we can create custom seek bar in Android. Alright, so I have created this empty project and it has nothing now. But I have added few colors in the colors.xml. So this one is the dark orange and light orange and white at 60 opacity. Alright, so you can use these colors or you can use your own colors as well. Alright, so in the activity mail we don't have anything. So first of all we'll add one seek bar so search for seek bar and i'll use app compact seek bar which is coming from android x so i'll provide width as a 0 dp and height as a wrap content and then i'll constraint its end to horizontal in parent and vertical in parent cool so the default seek bar looks like this so if you just add progress to 50% as you can see default sigbar looks like this alright so let me just uh, remove this and first property that we'll add in the xml is we'll provide some max value which will be 100 cool then split track uh, we'll make it false because we don't want to split the track and you can also split the track uh, you can just make it true cool then let's just provide it margin from the horizontal to 12 dp cool so now in order to customize this seek bar uh, we have two properties we can use a different progress drawable and different thumb so you can see this blue uh, purplish dot this is thumb so let's just add one property which will be thumb and it takes a drawable but we will create that in a moment and also we'll create progress drawable cool so both of this will create it now so now let's just click on the drawables and let's click on new drawable resource file and i'll name it as a seek bar thumb cool and i'll collapse the project view cool so inside the selector i'll have an item and inside the item we'll have the shape and shape will be of oval as we want uh, it in circle cool so inside shape uh, we'll just have an gradient and we'll provide an angle to the gradient so let's just keep it 90 for now and we'll use start color as dark orange and end color to the light orange cool and we'll provide a type linear so our gradient is done let's just add the stroke to it so we want stroke in color white and we'll give it an width of 3 dp cool and then we'll define the size of it so size we'll provide a height of 26 dp you can play with these values it's totally depends on you so 26 dp Cool. so height and width and is 6, 26 db so you can again play with this uh, angle so if i do it to 70 this dark color will be at the top and light color will be at the bottom so i like it in this way cool so let's just go to the activity main again and let's just add the thumb so sigma thumb cool cool so let us change the background color of this so i'll i'll prefer black cool so now we are only remaining with the progress drawable so let's just uh, click on the drawable again and click new sigbar progress cool and we don't want selector now we want layer list so i'll be using layer list over here Cool. So inside the layer list, first we'll define the background, which will be of color the 60 opacity white kind of grayish. Cool. So we'll provide an ID to this. So Android and background. Cool. This one. And then we'll provide height of uh, let's say 16 dp, and we'll provide some margin from the bottom, 7 dp, and from the top. Of 7 dp cool just uh, close this 
cool inside this i will define the shape so we want it in the shape of rectangle so rectangle and inside this we we'll first define the solid so color we will provide 60 opacity white and we will provide some corners to it so corners radius of 8 dp cool so this will be the background color of our progress drawable so let's just uh, jump out of this item and we'll create another item for our progress so sorry let's just type item and similarly we'll give it an id and this will be android android and progress cool this one similarly we'll provide height of 16 dp and top and bottom 7 dp 7 dp cool and now we'll use clip so clip clip orientation will provide an horizontal clip orientation and the gravity as we want it to start from the left side so i'll pass the left value here cool and then inside the clip we'll have a shape so shape similarly this will be a type rectangle and we'll provide it a gradient so gradient again angle will be angle will be 270 degree so 270 start color will be dark orange and end color will be light orange and we need to provide the type as well so we want it in the linear way so linear cool and we are just remaining with the corners so let's just provide corners of ATP cool so that's it our pro sigbar progress drawable is done so let's just jump to the activity main and here we can just provide our sigbar progress cool and as you can see this looks like this now let me just try to add some progress of 30 cool and let me just zoom it a bit so you can see it cool so yeah that is what we wanted to create in this video and now we'll jump on the main activity and we'll set up one timer in order to run this progress from 0 to 100 so let's just clear this progress and jump to the main activity cool so over here what we can do all right well we'll create one seek bar we'll find its id so find view by id and this is app compact seek bar r dot id dot uh, i guess we didn't provide id to it so let's just provide an id so id seek bar cool so seek bar and don't worry about this error uh, this will be resolved when we run our app so then we'll create one var which will be total completed and we'll initialize it as zero then we'll create one timer and timer inside the timer will pass initial delay initial delay of zero l so we don't want any delay and then the period so here we'll pass 1000 l as we want to uh, run our progress after one second cool and here we'll have one check if the total completed value is equals to 90 then we will cancel this timer and we'll just increment this total time completed value over here so plus equals to 10 and then you can set this progress so sigma dot progress equals to total completed cool so yeah we are done and what you can do here you can just cut this part and paste it here and then you can compare total completed value to 100 that will be also same so it's just a simple logic i did this in this way so yeah both both things will work let's just try to run the app and we'll see how does it look so our app has been installed and as you can see the progress is working cool and again you can just drag it and yeah you can disable this as well you can just write here 
sigbar dot is enabled you can make it false and then you will be not able to drag this cool let's just try to run the app again let it finish first cool and now if i try to drag it see nothing happens so yeah that's it for this video again you can just add one button and play around this you can start the timer again when you click on the button and all that so yeah that's it for this video do subscribe and thank you for watching